Old Zuft. Hi guys, Mark here with Waldus World, and we're at the Theresen Visa. You may not know this word, but you know what happens here. This is the home of Oktoberfest. They have Oktoberfest right behind me. There's all kinds of, well, it's, it's winter now, so it's not Oktoberfest time, so it's not very pretty looking that way, so I'll give you a nice church, so you know if you're getting close to where Oktoberfest is. Now, everyone that here is in Germany, you all want to come to Oktoberfest. I bet it's a blast, okay? But the thing is, you need to know a few things before you come so you don't get stuck without a table, without a hotel, things like that. So, today's video are 10 facts and tips for Oktoberfest. You know these 10 facts, you'll be fine, ready to go for Oktoberfest next year. Now, for those of you that don't know, Oktoberfest is actually a celebration of a wedding. Okay, in 1810, Crown Prince Ludwig and his beautiful bride, Teresa, hence Theresenwiese or Teresa Field, they named it after her, okay, they got married. Congratulations to them. And there was a big party for it. Now, the first thing that you need to know, well, that's actually the first thing you should know is, hey, it's a marriage, okay, for these two people. Second thing you should know is when it actually happens. It's called Oktoberfest, but most of it happens in September because it is the two weeks that lead up to the first Saturday in October, okay? So if you want to have a better chance of getting in and not having as much problem with uh, hotels and stuff, you probably want to do it come in the first week versus the second week when it gets really crazy, okay? So... Third thing you should know is, guys, there's six million visitors that come here every every year, okay? So it gets packed. Don't expect to get a seat if you come in the afternoon, okay? So come early to enjoy the stuff, get a place to sit down, all kinds of stuff. So you're going to need to prepare yourself. And if you want to come in the afternoon or on the weekends, you need to make reservations, okay? Also, another thing you should know is you need to know your limit, okay? I've seen many people, they have their big beers, the Masa beers, drink, 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 and then they can't walk home. Okay, make sure you know your limit. All right. The fourth thing you should know about coming to October phase is it's not just beer. I mean, you can anybody can come, young and old. Okay, you can sit and have your liter beers, your half liter beers, or you can ride the roller coasters, play the fair games, all kinds of stuff. Because it's a combination of a beer festival and a fun fair or a county fair. Okay, it is a lot of fun, so you can bring your kids out to it. I recommend not bringing them too much late at night because then people get a little too drunk. But you can bring anybody around. I mean, I, the first time I came to Oktoberfest, I was with a friend of mine. We sat across from an 85-year-old man and his young wife, who was 75. And we had a nice time talking with him because everybody can come. Okay? The fifth thing you should know about Oktoberfest are the tents. Okay? There's a bunch of different tents out here, and each one is from a different brewery. All right. Now, the tents sell beer from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. Now, there's other things going on that are open beforehand, like the food shops, the, the rides, and things like that. They may stay open later, but the, food, uh, the beer stuff, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., okay? Now, when you're in the tents, this is the sixth thing you should know, the tables. Guys, you cannot get served the big beers unless you are sitting at a table, okay? So get there. The problem is, is on after 6 p.m. and on weekends, they're usually all reserved by companies and things like that. So you're going to want to come during the day, okay, to make sure you get that seat. Be there at 11. Who cares? Have a beer at 11. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> get there early so you have a seat because once their reservations come, you can't get back in. And if you get up and leave, you lose your spot, okay? So remember, you got to get your tables. Now, if you want to reserve a table, here's the deal, guys. It's Oktoberfest, but you have to make your reservations in March and April, okay? Now, number seven things you need to know. The hotels. Guys, Munich gets booked out for those two weeks, okay? So you need to book early if you want to stay here in Munich. But what's nice is if you don't get too drunk, you can actually take one of the regional trains and you can stay in Nuremberg or Regensburg or outside of the city. You can stay other places and just come in for the day for the trip. So you don't have to pay the high season prices for Oktoberfest and you don't have to deal with all the crazy drunk people in the street. Just you. <laughs> okay? So make sure you book your hotels earlier or stay at one of the cities outside of uh, Munich. Okay? The eighth thing you want to know is food on Oktoberfest. Yes, you can get food. Usually you're going to have your pretzels, sausages, things like that. However, food at Oktoberfest is expensive. So make sure you prepare yourself for the money. And also the beer is expensive there too. So be prepared. Have your cash, okay, with you when you go. It makes it a lot easier. Okay? Next thing is number nine. Guys, it's a beer festival, basically. So the beer is what we're going to talk about for number nine. Guys, for my American friends, when you say you want a beer stein, Germans will look at you like, what the hell are you talking about? You want a beer rock? Because stein means beer in German, okay? So what you're going to be getting is a Moss. Moss. That's the one liter beer. Moss. If you want a half liter beer, you're telling me you want a halbis. Or half. 
Haldas, okay? But Amas is one of the big ones. All right. And the thing is, if you don't like beer, guys, they have other things. They have Radla, which is beer and Sprite. It's a little less strong. You can get soda. They have wine. They have other things as well. It's not just beer, okay? But, hey, it's Oktoberfest. You're here for beer. They got plenty. Don't worry, okay? And the tenth thing you want to know about Oktoberfest is, yes, it is tacky. Yes, it is overrun by tourists. Yes, you will get a stupid felt hat to be stupid and dress in Lederhosen or whatever, or Drindle, but it's okay because it's so much fun. So if you get a chance to come to Oktoberfest, make sure you do come, okay? And you want to come here to Theresienvisa. It's one stop on the subway, the U-Bahn, from the main station, guys. Very easy to get to. I just walked from the station here. It took me 10 minutes, okay? So, 10 things you should know. One, it's Oktoberfest is the two weeks leading up to the first Saturday in October. Two, it's the celebration of the marriage in 1810 of Crown Prince Ludwig and Princess Teresa, hence Teresa Visa. Three, six million people come here a year, so it gets kind of packed. Four, it's not just a beer hall, it's a beer and a fair, and so it's for everybody, from five-year-olds to 105-year-olds, everyone can come. Five, the tents, there's a different tent for each of the beer hall, uh, beer companies, okay? So enjoy those. Six, the tables in the beer th halls, you're fine during the day, but once it's six o'clock on the weekends, you're going to need reservations, so think about that, okay? Seven, hotels, book early for hotels or stay farther out of town, okay? Eight, the food. Yes, there's food here, pretzels, sauerkraut, sausages, all those things, but it is pricey, so be prepared for that. Bring something in your rucksack, okay? Nine, beer. Guys, there's going to be all kinds of beer here. You're going to get a moss. That's the one liter one. And number ten, yes, it's tacky, but it's great, okay? So you guys have a great time at Oktoberfest. Learn more about things in Germany that isn't all necessarily beer-related, but some are. You can learn German, you can learn other languages, you can have travel tips from around Europe, South America, and the U.S. You check us out at our website, www.waltersworld.com. It's Walters with an O. So have a great time, have a great drink, and uh, Prost! Oh, Prost is cheers here. And get ready to sing some songs. I'm Prost, I'm Prost.